welcome to Pinar Cross, where we guys from Filipinos talking basketball. I'm your host for tonight, Marky Mark. And over here is my other host, James. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Ready oh, for this. Welcome back <laughs> again. And our special guest, introduce yourself. Thanks for coming here tonight. What's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Raymond Kingu, uh, President and CEO of True Sports TV, man. Thanks awesome. for having me, Mark. Awesome. No, thank you. <laughs> I mean, we met through LA and we just ball around and just like we just found out like, hey, like this guy's doing this, this guy's doing that. So we yep. just linked up Sports and like, world, eh? you know, <laughs> basketball world. brings people together and like um, so it we does. thought like, hey, come through, man, like share your story and the stocks and ball. So we can start like straight up with I guess tell tell us a little bit about your story with okay. the basketball. How did basketball um, start for you? Man, basketball started for me since like even high school, man. Yeah. Um, I've been playing basketball for years and you know, like um, from playing from high school ball, playing in college too, and I just always loved the game, you know. Um, I'm a huge Kobe fan, mm -hmm. you know, so it's always been competitive for me. You know when we play I at see LA. How you're, yeah. you know, I see the Kobe. <laughs> yeah. You got the Kobe yeah. All the time, you know, yeah. it's that mama mentality for me, but um, I'm, I'm a huge Kobe fan, but I, I just, I, I've always loved basketball, so I've always, if I can't make it to the NBA, yeah. I want to do something pertaining to basketball or sports some way, somehow, because that's always, that was my dream, to make it to the NBA and, or whatnot, but now I'm in the film industry doing a lot with basketball and sports and everything, so I'm very happy with where every, you know, everything is right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Growing up, like, who, which team did you watch or which players did you, besides Kobe, is there like, Man. were you a Raptors or there a specific team that you were? You know what, I'm, um, my favorite player Believe it or not, is Vince Carter. Wow. My okay. favorite player of yeah. all time, Vince Carter. Yeah. Uh, my brother, my people, people that know me will tell you, Vince Carter, yeah. Vince Carter. Kobe and Vince Carter, but Vince Carter. So I was always a Raptors fan, mm -hmm. naturally, you mm -hmm. know? But yeah. even younger, younger, I like Gary Payton a lot. Yeah. You know, uh, my birthday is on April yeah. 20th. He wore 20, so 20 was like my number. <laughs> yeah. And he talked a lot yeah. of trash. I talk a lot of trash. So. Yeah. It was perfect. Me and Gary Payton would get along just great. Yeah. <laughs> How did um? How, I mean, yeah, but well, well, like stalking you in mm -hmm. Instagram, I yeah. saw you like interviewing like Gary Payton. Yeah. Payton, so how does yeah. it feel? Like for me, if I interview mm -hmm. Allen Iverson, I'd be yeah, like I know. screaming. <laughs> Bro. So what does it feel like? Bro, doing that? Uh, it was it was like a dream come true. Uh, uh, I mean, Iverson too. One yeah. of my favorite players, man. Like, uh, but interviewing Gary Payton. I kind of I was lucky because before I interviewed him, I got to interview a lot of other athletes too, like you know from like uh, the Greek freak Giannis and Tom Brady at the Super Bowl, um, uh, wow, so wow, many, so many, yeah, like Floyd Mayweather when Connor and Floyd came here to fight, yeah. I was able to interview Floyd and, and Connor as well. So th like I was just been blessed and thankful to be in the position to kind of be interacting with these athletes so when I get when you kind of get to see an athlete that you look up to mm -hmm. and you actually really appreciate it, it's even better it's super mm -hmm. cool yeah. tell, tell us the story in terms of how you went from like hey like high school university yeah. to that like yeah. what was your story behind um, that like how did it all happen you, you know like I, I, I kind of started a little bit with um, more on doing sports stuff but more on the acting kind of stuff mm -hmm. I did like a lot of film stuff I see, and I um, did a lot I started doing a lot of background work just to get my foot in the door oh. with TV shows and movies and then I was just networking that mm -hmm. was that's been my biggest secret it's just networking yeah. um, I made good connections networked with the right people got along with the really good people and they just kind of helped me along the way to, yeah. to get bring me here bring me there I and I was always willing to learn you know and willing to to kind of put myself in a position where if this is what i really want to do in life i'm going to do everything to kind of learn about it so mm -hmm. once i got into the door with several things with the film stuff i networked somebody else got me into like sports stuff and then i started yeah. doing the sports stuff i always love sports and then next thing you know i'm at the super bowl and then you know i'm here and i'm just you know opportunities are opening up because i'm speaking it into existence too you know i'm saying mm -hmm. i want to do this i want to be this i want to be this i want to do that and it happens you know mm -hmm. and the right people come along and before you know it you know you're kind of living your dream and you got to pinch yourself sometimes like is this really happening <laughs> yeah. like, you know like so, did yeah. acting like help you to do sports stuff because you like interviewing you have to yeah. be professional and other things like that Big time. Big time. really I mean, help you out? the acting's helping me right now <laughs> <laughs> like, you know being being here you know yeah. like i don't i don't get too nervous you know when i'm yeah. on, on camera or whatnot because it's it's kind of helped me to know how to compose myself 
So mm -hmm. now when I'm in camera, I can make jokes. Mm -hmm. I can I can be myself. You're natural. Naturally, yeah. just you know, just enjoy myself. <laughs> the camera myself. doesn't even feel like it's yeah, there. It yeah, even yeah. Feel like it's there. I, feel, I see where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, it, it doesn't even feel too. like it's there. Yeah. Like my goal and dream is like one day, Mark, I want you to be like, yo, bro, did you just I just seen you on this movie, bro? Like you know, I'm doing this. I want to be on the big screens, you know, yeah. doing big things, you know. Yeah. Uh, I have you know dreams to do that and and to kind of expand what we're doing with True Sports TV and yes, expand yes. that, you know. So mm -hmm. I got big dreams and big goals, yeah. man. Tell us about some of the projects besides, uh, I guess, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about True Sports TV yeah. and then the other projects yeah. that you're working yeah. on so then we can... Yeah, I mean, True around. Sports TV, I mean, it, it's it's amazing because, you know, our slogan is true to the game. That's mm -hmm. our slogan. We know yeah. we're true to the game and we want to bring that sports experience to the fans mm -hmm. and deliver it in a special way, something different than the conventional way that they've been used to seeing things, you know, mm -hmm. just by watching, you know, uh, a sports analyst. You know, we want to do things differently. Mm -hmm. We're only five months in, so we're very new. You mm -hmm. know, we're very new. We're still learning how to kind of uh, adapt to the different media outlets and changes and just getting on different platforms and everything. But we're pretty, we're going really well on Instagram. So if you guys mm -hmm. are on Instagram, follow us. Uh, True Sports TV, mm -hmm. uh, but we're covering all sports. Mm -hmm. So basketball, football, baseball, hockey, um, and uh, just recently we just got an opportunity now to, to, to cover FIFA World Cup, so we're going to be doing some stuff okay. with the Canada women's team, the soccer team. Um, just a, a lot of opportunities coming, mm -hmm. and even just getting into doing some you know documentary stuff and working on some really cool projects that um, I think you know the fans and people that love sports are gonna like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's like the time management? Because uh, when yeah. it comes, to, you say you did all the sports. Like, yeah. For us, we talk about basketball all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. for you, like <laughs> putting topics after topics about yeah. something else. It's 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 tough, but I got a really good team. You know, I'm, I'm very thankful for my team. You know, <laughs> I, honestly, I stand here uh, very humbled and very mm -hmm. thankful, but the people behind True Sports TV that are helping run and keep that engine going, I'm grateful and thankful for them. You know, we have a, a really awesome hockey team, uh, a hockey podcast team that we've got together to uh, shout out to Three to North. <laughs> uh, my guys, they're an awesome man. And then we got a, a soccer dedicated team. We got a basketball dedicated mm -hmm. team. And we've got a football dedicated team. So we've got like uh, different people that are strong at different things. Yeah. So if you're really good at this, we, we're, I'm going to put you in a position where you can succeed. Yeah, see, and and, and that's, what, that's what true sports is about, you know? Mm -hmm. We just want to like, you, will, you come here and you get everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, to end it off the segment, mm -hmm. I want to get some sort of advice. Or sure. what would advice would you want to give to people out there that are... That are thinking or wanted yeah. to get into that game or into yeah. the industry too. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I mean, Mark, we spoke about this a little bit prior. Don't be afraid to reach out to people yeah. Yeah. because you never know who's going to uh, be able to help you. Yeah. Like business is about networking. You network with people, you network with the right people. It'll put you in a position where you can be successful. And my greatest you know, advice that I can give anybody trying to get into the sports industry especially, mm -hmm. do your homework. You know, mm -hmm. understand, you know, what it is that you're going to be presenting to the people that you're trying to get involved. You want to know about sports. You want to put yourself out there in the sports industry. You got to know about sports, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and then network. It just comes hand in hand, you know, mm -hmm. networking with the right people. Don't be afraid to send an email out to somebody or reach out to somebody that you really admire or, or ask for a mentorship or something like that mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, kind of learn from them, you know. Mm -hmm. And it could be maybe really you know, celebrity status and really hard for you to reach because, you know, they may be very, very, like maybe in another country or something like that. But you never know. You know, I've done it and mm -hmm. it's worked for me, you know. So yeah. Yeah. I would just say networking and, and, and doing your homework and working hard and just don't give up. 